Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So, I think we're going to try to do an assassinate mission today, but before we get started, I'd like to go to engineering and have a look at the ship upgrades. So we just got our lounge installed, which gave us plus one tech points and plus two morale, but if I notice here, uh, we've got improved automation as another choice. This will get our, our third bay working at 100% efficiency, but it's really going to give us two tech points for 100,000, which right now is the cheapest thing to do. So I'm going to do that. And because the faster we can get our mechs repaired, the more missions we can we can pull off. So I'm going to do that real quick. So the next thing we want to do is going to go to the command center. Um, and we're going to do war criminal today. It's assassinate mission, taking out the war criminal, um, and, you know, in service of our commonwealth, commonwealth here on the planet. You know, and we're going to go full salvage. We're still, you know, we got about half a month left before the end of the month. And we're sitting okay here cash wise. So we're going to accept this. Oh, sorry, we got something going on here with the Centurion. Uh, let's go back to the mech base real quick. thought I repaired everything here. What are we missing? Oh, sorry, it's the... Uh... Yeah, what? Okay. That was weird. That work order you submitted is complete. I guess it was just internal structure damage that was never taken care of for some reason. Whatever. Okay, so let's go and... Back to the command center. And let's take that mission, War Criminal. We might try this intelligent agent one right afterwards. If this mission goes fast, I'll try and do a second one today. If not, we'll save it for the next time. All right, here we go. Four max on the ground. Looks like we're gonna be facing nine guys. Ugh. Well, it's not the best map for it either. So we got reinforcements here and guys here and the main guy there so that's our escape point i think um so we're gonna hit it off this way i think do we want to decapitate the beast or we want to kill everybody keep your eyes peeled commander this looks like an ideal place for an ambush thank you captain obvious what concerns me is i don't hear any vehicles moving If it was vehicles we were up against, I'd feel better. Nobody's really moved. Have these guys moved? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so... Recoil. Time for your job. Let's go spot some people. I don't know if I want to get flanked here. Well, we're going to move forward. And then we're going to move to the left. I want to spot who we're up against with first here. So we got two guys. Okay. Yeah. So they're not really. Let's get her into the trees. So we got three mechs. Yes, Commander. Uh, let's get you down. Um, yeah, right here. And let's get cold metal here. Alright. See what they're up to. So we got two lights and a medium. Medium's probably this guy and gonna reserve. Yeah, we're gonna reserve right back to turn one, aren't we guys? Okay, pylon, it's up to you to start this battle off. Do I want to see what that guy is in the center? Or would I rather just kind of point blank this guy and wait to see what they do? Let's do that. Let's plank this guy. So that's their leader. What do we got here? Urban mech. Uh, it's a good thing we identified him early. He's got full armor. I'm going to fire everything on this guy. Engaging target. Okay, cool. Got the heat sink destroyed. If he doesn't move, we've got Hickory for a couple missiles. Yeah, I think their reinforcements are yep. moving in first. So we're going to move down, keeping ourselves turned so that these guys engage. We'll be facing them. Let's drop a couple Thunderbolts on this guy's behind. Get 
that torso. Get the torso. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can get cold metal. How close can we get on this guy? In range of the dead fires. Cool. I really want to get rid of that uh, auto cannon. So let's fire everything. Not quite enough. I don't think Recall's got the juice to finish him up. Yes, come in. No, we gotta be right here. Yeesh, 25%. 34% chance. I know we're exposing our flank. There's another guy over there. But we gotta take the chance. We gotta kill this guy. I'm gonna make some Ugh. Well, we are kind of at range, so... Yeah, we should be able to finish him up next turn. Is this a blackjack? Looks like it. Sure is. So that's a medium. So this is a one skull mission, guys. And we're going to have a lot of competition here. It looks like these guys are fully armed and armored. So this is probably going to be best to be a hit and run. So we're going to plow through up the river here. Um gonna kill this urban mech for sure and then we're gonna get right on the boss don't think we want to stick around for any length of time here so we got six chevrons up at least he's moving in oh it's another uh, wolf hound so this should have some good damage too so we're gonna have to get on him like white on rice once again, it's going to be a back penetration. We're going to smash the crap out of his back armor and kill him. Once that's done, we're going to move back here, kill who we can, and then bail out of here. So, Hickory, let's get you back here. We're only going to walk it. I don't want to run. I'm going to fire on this guy. Two nice, solid hits. Good stuff. I think their reinforcements are moving first. So recoil, let's sprint it up here. Uh, let's not get on... Well, I guess maybe we should. Take a leg hit there. Kind of got this rock between him and I, but it won't matter. I don't think that much. Let's fire everything. Wow. That was bad. So he's going he's gonna to go before us now. But if uh, Pylon doesn't kill him, the dead fire ammo certainly will at point blank range. So there's a wasp. I'm not too worried about that guy unless it's the advanced one. I don't think it is. No. Just the regular wasp. What kind of armor are we looking at here? Ah, average. Ah, crap. He hit with the AC. Left in that yeah, I know, buddy. You're taking a pounding in this one. Oh, nice shooting, Tex. Probably a commando with an AC2. See what their leader does here. Probably going to shoot in the Firefly again. Nope. What? What? No! Well, that's completely unfortunate. Light damage command. Okay, we gotta kill this guy first. That guy's got, like, ridiculously good accuracy. One left target. Okay, let's hammer this main guy now. Look at the number. Look at, look at, look at! Full 
Okay. Everything on the wolf found firing. Yeah, he's got to come through us to get out of here, so... Head hit on him though. Nice. Okay, I got my fingers crossed that the we that mech and hickory are still alive. But that was an ammo explosion in the leg. That's gonna cost a lot to repair though. I don't even think we got an engine now either. Come on, shoot on the centurion. Thank you. What's our main guy going to do here? That's what I want to know. Yeah, we're definitely hit and run in this. Okay, we're going to move... Yikes, that guy's got really good accuracy. Not much you can really do against that guy. I mean, if he's got, if he's that accurate, I mean, if you're, I guess if you're standing in the trees, sure. But I wasn't about to stand back here and let all eight guys attack me plus the leader. There's just no way. So let's get, let's make this guy pay. Let's fire everything on him. Lots of chances for a head hit there. Okay, structure is exposed. Thought that said unstable there for a second. Okay, so what's he got exposed here? CT. So pylon. Uh, Copy that. Really low chances to hit. How much armor does this Jaeger have? Not, a, not, not that much. We should be able to destroy this guy if we fire at him. If we hit him in the side a couple times. Let's do that, because I think that main guy's going to bail out of here. That should be enough to kill him. Okay, good. One last thing i got to worry about. One for the scrap heap. Okay, Blackjack's moving. Yeah. Damn it. Yep, that's fine. No! Okay, I hate those pulse lasers. Oh, you did hit the head. I hate the pulse lasers because it just like leaves you in suspense if he's actually going to hit his <laughs> hit the target. Oh, please stop shooting at that guy. Oh my god, this is such a horrible mission. I should have sprinted with her. I don't think it would have mattered though because this wolfhound has got ridiculously good accuracy. I'm coming around in front of him in a second. Then we're just going to withdraw. Once I kill him, we're going to withdraw. I think we'll go with Cold Metal first. I think he's probably got the better chance to kill him. Or at least do significant damage. The guy's pretty, he's like super evasive right now too though. Yeah, we're going to need to sell some stuff when we get back. Wow. Alright, let's get around here. Can we get around to his front? We can get around to his front here. Pretty low chances to hit, but we had low chances last time when we did well on him, so let's fire everything. Nope. Oh, man. This is 
painful. Okay, Firefly's getting up. Oh, Recall's going on turn one. He's not getting up. Uh, let's block this guy's escape route. I mean, he's going to go around us anyway, but we need to be in the trees in case we get fired at. Let's fire everything. Hope we core him. And five misses. Really? Really? No, I saw that. You're making me very sad. Okay, I wonder if this guy's got... If he took any damage there in the CT. He took a little bit. Commander. So we're going to have to do an offensive push on him. All right. Twice in a row. Alright, keep our left side this way. Because the right side is toast already. And offensive push on him. Can try and CT him. Look at the chances they hit. <laughs> oh, fire everything. Oh, at least we push him back a turn. That's all we want. And we're going to do it again. Looks like Hickory only took one head hit, so she might still be alive. Okay. <laughs> Man. Oh, this is just painful. Okay, I'm going to move back a little bit. And we're going to offensive push this guy again. At least we have a little better chance to hit. Uh, let's leave off. What's the worst chances here? The two small lasers? Let's leave one small laser off. Yeah, didn't expect a hit, but at least we have the Centurion and the uh, Phoenix Hawk to uh, smash this guy with. And then we're withdrawing. Oh my god, I can't believe this. So I think we'll go with the Centurion first. Worst case scenario, we just completely make him unstable. Although I think he's still got a ton of stability left. If we can make him unstable enough, it might give the uh, Phoenix Hawk a much better chance to hit. Stop it with the pulse lasers. This is a hit and flee mission. Okay. Flank away, my friend. Flank away. Okay, nice. Alright, I don't think I'm going to move here. I think we're just going to stand still. It's going to give us the best chances to hit. They're pretty darn low, but we're going to fire everything. Oh, yes. Alright, we're withdrawing now. I won't be able to run out of here. Wait, where's our, where's our escape point? Oh, it's way over there, I think. Yeah, we'd have to go through all these guys to get out of here. Right? Yeah, there's no way we can. So we're going to withdraw. All right. All right, well, we had that... Uh, well, we did destroy him. I don't know why I said whatever. It's weird. I guess because we withdraw, but he was killed on the battlefield. Anyway... So the Jenner, wow, look at that. Took a pasting. She is still alive, Hickory, which is good. We lost one of the uh, Thunderbolts. I guess we can put the medium range missiles in there. Yeah, this guy took some damage too. So that was a humiliating defeat. Medium laser, X pulse, and our urban mech part. Wow, look at that. All right, well, that was very legitimately disappointing. What a crippling uh, blow that was. But that, I, you know, in all due fairness, that was a pretty heavy uh, outload for these guys. That was for sure. Um, there's just no way we could... Once we were down one Mac, there was just no way we could recover. So let's have a look. Um, 
mech base here. I don't think we have any engines. Actually, let's go to um, let's go to the store real quick. We're gonna need to sell a lot of stuff. Uh, there are fusion cores here, but I don't think we have enough to buy one. Let's see what we got here in the uh, in our equipment. So no fusion cores. Oh, we do have fusion cores. Sorry, never mind. So we should be okay with rebuilding the Jenner. It's gonna take a while. Uh, but we may decide to try something different. Um, so this is for indirect fire, right? Plus one accuracy with ballistic. We've got the Artemis, but that's two tons. Gotta figure out what we're gonna do with that, uh, that Jenner. Gonna have to change it up, I think, now. Heavy Pharaoh. Yeah, I don't think we want to go that route on him. But we'll have to figure that out. Um, so we do need to sell some stuff. I think we're going to be... Yeah, we're going to be going past the financial report. Let's manage our tasks a little better here. So 13, 7, 8, 12. So I think that's actually pretty good the way it is. But let's bring the Phoenix Haw Hawk up. Jenner. Something like that, I think. So we can get the, the uh, Centurion and the Phoenix Hawk back sooner. And have a look at them. So let's go through the uh, process of bringing them back. Uh, let's get the training module. Yep. So we got a gen what do we got back here? Um, Centurion's already back? Right. So let's have a look and see what we need to do here. So Phoenix Hawk and Centurion didn't take any significant hits. No, it was the that's right. It was the Jenner and the, and the uh, Firefly. So those two guys are good. So let's just finish these up here. Got that financial report coming up. We'll be done before that. So okay, we got the automation up and running now. Thank you. Job is done. And we got two days till financial reports. So we're going to need to sell some stuff. But um, let's go to the base first. I want to see what it's going to take to, re to rebuild this Jenner. Uh, let's refit the Firefly first. So let's repair. So we didn't lose the small laser, which is good. But we lost two heat sinks, which was easy to replace. Drop those back. Let's confirm this. So he's back and running the way it was before. And the Jenner, let's refit the Jenner. Um, yeah, I still can't, can't get over how we how we took a pasting on that planet. It was ridiculous. So we're going to have to repair all here. We lost a lot of stuff. Ultralight gyro, stealth armor, like tons of stuff here. So we're going to have to reconsider how we have this guy laid out. So let me think now. So if we go with, let's go to equipment here. I'm going to put the heavy fairway in because i got a feeling we're going to need the uh, tonnage on this guy. Uh, we need an engine. So let's grab a 180. That's the lightest we have, right? So one, at 180 it has to be. So we've only got five tons left after the Thunderbolt in. So we don't have enough to put another Thunderbolt in. So let's consider maybe taking the Thunderbolts out. I know we've been doing well with the Thunderbolts, but I'm wondering if we start thinking about this guy a different way so let's pull the Thunderbolt out for now uh, what else can we put in we need to have at least uh, the AC5 ammo needs to come out now armor wise can we pump up the armor a little bit we can let's go let's max it out and see what we have here 2438 yeah I don't know if we want to go that much this guy's going to be a range boat so something like that so now we got nine tons to play with for weaponry so upper missile let's put it on this side we're going to protect our right side we still kept our ecm which is good let's grab and we we can't use the artemis with the um medium range missiles but those might be the way to go here let's see what we have missile wise we don't want to get in close. I mean, we could. Can't drop two LRM-10s in. That wouldn't be very good. 
I mean, we could go with a big weapon, but we'd have to find some space. Like, we could put a Thunderbolt 15 in and go for pinpoint pin point damage, but I'm thinking the two medium range 10s, probably a better way to go. We could put them both in one arm to actually get bonus accuracy on them, so it'll cancel out the, the negative accuracy we have here and just keep that side protected at all times. I think we probably have to do that. So let's go to equipment. So that's 20. Um, actually, let's, we can't use the Artemis ammo. We just have to use regular LRM ammo. And I'm thinking we probably do this with... We have case 2, don't we? Uh, we just have regular case. So it just prevents ammo explosion from traveling to the center torso. We've only got one. So putting it there is kind of useless. I mean, we could, for the sake of argument, put it on the other side. So if we do get an ammo explosion, we don't lose anything. Let's put, leave the heat sinks on this side. Uh, what else do we want to use here? Um, how are we doing for heat? We, sh we should be really good for heat. Alpha Strike is 12. These only do 6 heat. It's only 6 heat for a potential of 40 damage. It's got damage fall off though, I think, doesn't it? Hmm. So, what else can we get on here? We got 2.5 tons left. We got enough. We got 2 laser points. Got more missile points. What do we got? Do we have any um, LRM-5s or anything? We do have an LRM-5 we could drop in. It's two tons. Then a half a ton left over. So, I mean, we'd be... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of disheartening. Um, a couple of SRM... No, the SRM-2s are kind of wasted time, I think, on this guy. It might be better just to put a couple of medium lasers in. Medium X pulse. 25 heat though. Plus 2 accuracy though. But we'll lose 1 for being in the torso. Um, yeah, maybe we just drop a couple mediums in. We're still really heat efficient. Right? Heat sinking 27. Are we missing a heat sink or are we missing a heat sink? That's why. There we go. Actually, let's put this heat sink in the leg. Let's put this heat sink in the leg. Um, half a ton left. What do we got here? Yeah. I mean, we could just put in like a small laser in the center torso for now. We have smalls. We do. Just as a point defense weapon, so just in case we lose the medium range missiles. I mean, we're not going to be firing it all that often. We're really just going to be staying back and shooting with the medium ranges. 1 times 10. Not a lot of stability damage. Well, let's try this. I mean, without the light gyro and the structure and everything, it's going to be difficult to uh, get this guy back to the way he was. But I think. We got lucky picking these MRM 10s up, so we're going to confirm this. It's 14 days, but we have to do it. Get this guy back in the game. I'll get it in the schedule. All right, all right. Two days till we got a financial report. So let's sell some stuff. We got engines we can sell, so let's go to sales here. And we need AC 10s or AC 2s. Let's sell two AC 2s. We got to keep a couple of backups just in case. Um, I don't know, AC-10s we'll hang on to. We don't need this. Medium X-Pulse I don't think we're going to use, so let's sell that. We're pretty darn close now. Heavy Machine Gun Array we want to keep. Regular Machine Guns. Let's just sell a couple of them for now. Uh, I'm going to hang on to the Medium Lasers just in case. Hang on to all that stuff. Maybe we sell one of the Fusion Cores, like the one of the big ones here. We don't really need it right now, so let's just sell that. 
because we can always get more later on. I think that's how we're going to go about this. Yeah, we'll do that. So let's get everybody back here. I've got the financial report. And we'll have recoil back in 14 days. So we're going to end the episode here. Fortunately, it was kind of a bit of a dead episode. We've got another mission we can take on after this, and then we'll bail the system and keep moving. Um, let's get recoil back. Hey, nice. Continuing to get experience. Okay, so we're going to end the episode here. If you liked it, drop a like. If you feel sad that I <laughs> almost lost a mech and a pilot, please say so in the comments down below. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe. Also check out my other uh, series that are going on, my Rogue Tech uh, Funky Steve's Matinas, which is kind of like a piratey kind of series. And um, my Battletech Flashpoint series that's going on right now as well. Um, I had to you know, kind of restart that as I had a major crash, but uh, we're picking up steam in that episode. There was, or sorry, that series as well. So yeah, but until next time, we'll see you all later.